Colored people. <laughs> That's right. I said it. Colored people. I'll say it again. Colored people. I've just had it with the corruption of the English language by the progressives. This idea that I have to use the term people of color rather than colored people, it just makes no sense. And it makes no sense on three grounds. Let me, let me talk about the three of them. The first thing is it, it's a, just a corruption of language that drives me nuts. You know, we have to destroy every institution in this country, especially the English language, I guess. And they do it all the time. You know, it, it's just nonsensical. I mean, if I said that, you know, Jack is a person of height, people would immediately say, you, you mean he's tall? Why don't you just say he's tall? Or, or, or Jack's a person of obesity. Why don't you just say Jack's obese? You know, it's so much simpler. It's so much direct. It's not stilted like person of obesity. Or, or Jane has a uh, hair of blonde. Why don't you just say she's, Jane's a blonde? Or Jane has blonde hair. None of all this stuff would just sound so strange, so stilted, so you know archaic, or some, it's like somebody was translating something from a different language verbatim. You know the way you, if you translate some Latin, a Latin verbatim, uh, it doesn't quite sound normal because people speak differently. And this is the problem with person of color. Basically, a person of color. Why can't we just say colored person? You know, we, we would say an obese person, not a person of obesity. Tall person, not a person of height. It's, it's just, just a simple corruption of language. And it just drives me nuts that I'm expected to allow progressives in this country to determine how I speak, how I write, how I think. Second problem is saying colored people is a perfectly good term. I mean, I've been around almost 69 years now. When I was a kid, people used the term colored people. Then they used Negro. Then it was black. Then it was African American, which was really ridiculous. And now we're pretty much back to black. Although some every now and then people, even me, I've thrown in, you know, phrase African Americans. But they're all it's not, they're not like they're, it's not like we're saying the N word. I mean, fashions change. And, and what is key to me is if you look at the number one civil rights organization in this country, probably for everybody, and especially for African Americans or blacks, what is it? The NAACP. What does that stand for? National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. Have they changed their name to the National Association for the Advancement of Black People? Did they change their name to the National Association for the Advancement of African American People? Did they change their name to the National Association for the Advancement of People of Color? No, they're still the NAACP. They haven't changed their name. If in this main African American Black civil rights organization can use the term colored people, why in the hell can't I? Why is it wrong for me to say colored people? I have to say people of color. The third reason it drives me nuts is it doesn't make a hell of a lot of sense. I got divorced 10 years ago. Since then, I've been in uh, long or short-term relationships with, with three different women. They were all, by today's standards, women of color. Uh, one was uh, Puerto Rican and Dominican. The other one was Puerto Rican. And the third one's Korean. They're all women of color. Now, the problem I have is that, especially in the summers, I'm darker than the three of them. I'm white. <laughs> They're all women of color. I mean, it, it's not a descriptive term. It doesn't mean anything. It, it, it's just nonsense. I remember one time I was with uh, one of the women, a woman of color, and she's in this conversation with another self-described woman of color. This other woman of color claimed to be Native American. She looked as about as colored as Elizabeth Warren. I mean, she had very fair skin. I think she had blue eyes. 
uh, you know, reddish blondish hair, kind of light brown, maybe. I forget exactly what it was. And there she is saying, well, us women of color and we women of color, blah, 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 blah. And even the woman I was with who was uh, Latina, and while she was lighter than me, uh, at least looked like a Latina, this woman did not look anything like a Native American. And she even said to me afterwards, about, you know, this woman claiming she was a person of color. And of course, I pointed out that I was darker than the two of them, as is, you know, my parentage is Sicilian. Name change, Palermo. Uh, it, it just it just doesn't mean anything. It's not descriptive. I mean, if you if you throw in, you know, people of color it would include uh, South Asians, whose income levels, wealth levels, education levels are better than white Americans. And you're throwing them into the pot with African Americans and Native Americans. I mean, it, it makes no sense. And you can see that. You just had that case. I posted a video. I'll, I'll link to it here, out in Washington State, where they they actually ended up excluding. They're not counting Asians as people of color anymore, because it it, it doesn't fit. I mean, we, we, the problems facing Asian Americans in this country, East Asians, South Asians, are, are very different than problems facing you know Native Americans, and to lump these people all into you know the same category as people of color, it, it makes no sense. It, it's it's crazy. It's not really a descriptive term. I mean, it, I, I was born in 1951. They said our originally our family name was Palermo, a Sicilian. Palermo is the capital of Sicily, for those of you aren't familiar with Italian geography. Uh, in 1951, in the 1950s, around that time, there was a mayor, Sicilian-born mayor of Tampa, Florida, where I live right now. There's a statue to him in Ybor City. And the plaque says, unless they've removed it since the last time I was there, the first Latin mayor of Tampa. The year I was born in 1951, if I had been born in Tampa, Florida, I would have been considered uh, Hispanic. Well, they didn't use the term in 1951. I would have been considered Latin. I would be a Latino. So if you were if you were a, a Sicilian origin born in Tampa, Florida in 1951, you were a Latino as far as they were concerned. Now, I guess today they've changed it and you, know, you would be born a Latino and you're an old man, you're white. But I mean, these things are so fluid and nonsensical to just dump all these people into this category of people of color. You know, what's that supposed to describe? Remember one summer, I got really dark in the summers if I stay in the sun. I came back from Persian Gulf one year. I was blacker than some of the black people I work with. And one summer I went back to Greenville after being down here for a couple of months in the summer. And I ran into a, a African-American colleague and he grabbed my arm, put his forearm against mine. He said, my God, you're darker than me. So am I a person of color? I mean, 1951 in Tampa, Florida, I would have been. But I'm not considered that today. So these terms don't mean anything. It's just that they want to control the language, person of color. So I'm just not going to go along with it anymore. You know, to me, color people's a perfectly fine name. Now, I'm not going to walk around and call you know, African-Americans, colored people, I'll call them black, which is what I've been calling them for about the last 40 or 50 years. And I've, I've never offended anybody by calling them black. So uh, that's what I'm going to continue to do. But I'm certainly not going to use this, you know, overarching people of color thing because they don't even use it themselves. When it's inconvenient for them, they just jettison Asian, get them out of the way. Oh, we're not, we're, people of color doesn't include Asians because it, it screws up the dynamic. Especially if you know you have a school like you did in Washington, where you have mostly minorities, and you got these Asian minorities that are scoring really high on the test, and the African American minorities, you average them together, and their scores scores come out to like white people scores, and then you say, well, there's no discrimination between people of color and whites because they look about the same, so that screws up the narrative. So you got to you know dump the Asian Americans alongside of the road, throw them under the bus. We're all people of color. Well, you're not really people of color anymore. And we know that this changes, as I just said. If I had been born in, in Tampa, Florida in 1951, I would have been a Latino. Now I'm white. Meaningless terms. Corruption of a language. I'm just going to follow NAACP. And when I need to, or I care to, or I feel like it, color people. 
Well, that's my take on the phrase people of color. Uh, if you have a comment, let me know. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you can. Hit the notification button so you know when I post new videos. Share the video with your friends. And until the next time, keep fighting.